How to customize the Shopify Studio theme. Now the Studio theme, as you can see right here, is a completely free theme by Shopify, which you can use to actually create all sorts of stylish Shopify stores. And to get started, just click on try theme right here, um, which will actually add the Studio theme onto your online store. Now, this is going to take a couple of seconds and this is now going to install. And now once this is successfully installed, you will just have to click on custom customize right here. So as you can see now it's installed, I'm going to click on customize. Um, now the studio theme actually is a pretty good theme in my opinion. Uh, as you can see it is going to have a kind of minimalistic, clean, aesthetic vibe and basically it is great to actually create all sorts of different stores. Now to get started we are going to go through this from top to bottom. Basically this is going to be the editor with Shopify and um, you can select each of these elements and you can then select them on the, uh, basically edit them on the right Right. and you can also see a general overview right here on the left and right here on the left you can also select all of the different elements. Now right here on the top you can then change the different kind of sites that you want to edit and right here on the right you can change the view of this. So if you for example want to look at the mobile view which I would recommend you to do because nowadays it is super important to actually also customize your stores for mobile then you can do that right here. But as of right now, we are going to go with desktop right here. And that's basically how the theme editor with Shopify works. So to get started, we are going to edit the announcement bar right here. So basically, I will just select this right here on the left. And then I'm going to change this to something. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to say minus 20% off um, for orders above $100 okay this is just an example and then actually we can also make this clickable by simply just pasting a link in right here or just selecting the site that we want to actually redirect the customers to so in this case I guess I would just select products and all products and now when someone is going to click on this right here they're going to be redirected to the all products tab right here as you can see so I'm going to head back to the home page and now we can actually edit the header right here basically as you can see as of right now we don't we basically don't have a logo for our store and to change that we are actually going to uh, go to the theme settings right here on the left this is basically just the general settings for all across your site right here you can set kind of the default parameters you could say and right here on the logo you will then just have to upload your logo onto this so i'm just going to i guess i'm going to select my black logo right here then I'm going to upload this. This is going to take a couple of seconds and I'm going to add this. And now this actually got added onto our store. We can then actually change the width of this. So basically the size of this, if we don't want to, but I guess I will just leave it at 110 pixel. And then we will also have to upload the favicon. Now the favicon is basically just um, the icon kind of that you can see on top of all of the different tabs, um, which you will also have to upload. Otherwise it is just going to stay at the default. And then we can actually also go over all sorts of other different theme settings. This is going to include stuff like colors, typography and so on. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. Now, as for the colors right here, by default, you are going to get a lot of different color schemes, which usually work great. However, if you do actually want to add your own custom colors onto this, you can do this by simply just adding a new scheme right here. And you can actually use tools like coolers or colors. I don't know how this is pronounced, but basically with this, you can generate all sorts of different color palettes, which you can then use for your website inside right here. Okay, then you can basically also added all sorts of other things, but I don't want to bore you guys. This is basically super self-explanatory. However, if you do have any questions along the way, make sure to leave them in the comments down below or join my community where you can instantly get help. But either way, we are going to just head back to the sections right here. And we are now going to get started actually customizing this. So to get started, we can just edit this text right here. I'm going to change this something uh, to something like shop or newest products. And then we can actually go ahead and change this image right here. So we can basically either select an image that we have uploaded or we can also explore the free images right here. So in this case, I would then just select, I don't know, clothing 
and then we can add some of these images. So I'm going to add this one right here. I'm going to click on select and then this got added. And now we do have this feature product section right here. We also have this section, which actually I'm going to delete as I don't really like this. So to actually delete this, you will just have to click on the bin icon right here. And this is now going to actually delete the section. I'm going to select this section as well. And I'm also going to delete it. Okay, perfect. And then we can actually go ahead and add new sections onto our homepage. Now, this is basic, this basically works the following. You will just have to either go to the plus right here and click on add section. And then you're going to have tons of different sections which you can add. However, you can actually also just go ahead and click on add section right here, which is then going to allow you to add different kind of sections. Now, um, something which I would recommend you to do is just adding your collection right here. And um, this is going to make shopping way easier for the customer. So in this case, I'm then just going to select your collection right here. I'm going to uh, select the collection and then I'm going to get started with tops, okay? Then I'm going to say your collection's name right here and then going to, I don't know, select bottoms right here, okay? And then as I don't currently, currently don't have a third collection, I'm then just going to actually delete this block right here, which once again, you can do by just pressing the bin button right here. And then this got deleted, okay. And now you, now you can basically further customize this if you do want to. However, there's actually still something which I want to actually go over, which would be the header right here and which would be the menu bar. So as you can see right here under the menu, you do have all sorts of different uh, basically menu items. Now to actually change this, you will have to click on this right here, which is then going to redirect you to the menu settings. So if you then want to add new menu items onto this, maybe uh, all products, tab right here, you can do so. And you will then just have to select the link or basically the page that this should redirect the person to. In my case, I'm then just going to select on products and I'm going to select all products and I'm going to add this. And now this got added. And if we're now going to actually refresh this store, this should get added right here. And as you can see, now this has gotten added. Perfect. And now we can actually further customize our homepage. Let me actually redirect you to the homepage. Um, we can then, for example, also add another um, section onto this, which would be, uh, I don't know, a college section or a multi-column section. Multi-columns actually work great for stuff like reviews, for things like um, where you're basically going to display the different kind of incentivizers on why people should buy your product. Um, or for example, we could just say that, okay, this first um, heading is going to be by, I don't know, John B. And then we can say, uh, I don't know, great product, da, 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 da. And then we can actually also add a link label onto this. So we can then say shop our products. And then this is going to actually allow you to um, select a link. Once again, in this case, I'm just going to select the all products separate here. Obviously, you can even further customize this by selecting another page, but I just want to keep this simple and therefore I'm not going to do that. And if you now want to actually edit your product page, so basically the page of the products, then you will just have to select products and then you will have to select default product right here. And then you can once again go over all of the different settings. You can actually add things onto this. You can add sections, you can add blocks and so on. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.